क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन इन दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवेन ए मैन ग्रोज इन टू अस दैट इज लीनर डायमेंशन इंक्रीज बाई ए फैक्टर ऑफ नाइन एज्यूमिंग दैट इज डेंसिटी रिमेन सेम द स्ट्रेस इन द लेग विल चेंज बाई ए फैक्टर ऑफ वॉट वैल्यू वी नो दैट स्ट्रेस इज गोइंग टू बी फोर्स अपॉन एरिया फोर्स इज गोइंग टू बी वॉल्यूम इन टू डेंसिटी इन टू जी ओवर एरिया वी नो दैट स्ट्रेस इज ओनली गोइंग टू प्रपोर्शनल लीनियर डायमेंशन एज when volume will be divided by area here the linear dimension will come in the power of 3 here it will come in the power of 2 so stress will be directly proportional to linear dimension so if we want to find out that what is the factor by which stress finally increases then it has to be the final stress has to be equal to 9 times the initial stress so the correct answer is answer 3 question number 19 According to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, the induced EMF is minus d phi by dt. This induced EMF can be said to be current multiplied by the resistance. Now, current can be written as dq by dt, and from that we can say the charge flown is equal to delta phi upon r. Now here, the current versus time gives you the area under this uh, curve. Gives us the charge flow. So the magnitude of change in flux will be the area under the curve given multiplied by resistance, which comes out to be two fifty Weber. So the answer is one. Question number twenty. In a standard YDSC apparatus, the location of a maxima is given by n lambda d by d so we have to locate a position where the maxima of both 650 nanometer and 520 nanometer coincide with each other that means n1 lambda 1 d by d should be equal to n2 lambda 2 d by d from this i can say n1 by n2 is equal to lambda 2 by lambda 1 which comes out to be 520 upon 650 which is 4 by 5 so the least value of n1 can be 4 and least value of n2 can be 5 so y comes out to be 4 multiplied by 650 nanometer multiplied by capital d is 1.5 meter small d is 0.5 mm and that gives us a distance of 7.8 mm So the answer is four.